Quality Commission. The officials assigned to handle today's card, the time. Dick Hogan, Joe Gonshorik, and the referee this afternoon, Teddy Thomas. Chris Tolis yelling to somebody in the crowd, why don't you mind your own business? Well, Bob Nandor and Chet Wallach are obviously in for a warm afternoon of wrestling. Just above us, you can see the two Tullis brothers, the Hamilton Wrecking Crew, getting ready. Teddy Thomas just hit only one man. There's the bell, and Pulipi, Bob Nandor, will go against older brother Chris. They come to grips. Chris immediately gets him over to the corner and into the belt buckle. Into the belt buckle. Into the belt buckle again. And while Teddy and Chris have words, John goes to work on Nandor. And now, there's a shot that knocked John out of the ring, but Chris has got Nandor by the hair. Look at the action here. Teddy Thomas is quieting Chet Wallach down, but over here, what a shot Nandor just took. And now a tag is made, and John told us goes after Nandor. Listen, that gal behind me. John is really giving Nandor the fare they were. John continuing to pummel, pummel Nandor, but here's Nandor coming back after John. The crowd loves it. Nandor jumped him. Oh, what a shot Chris got. John and Chris tag, and here comes Chris in. Grabs Nander by the hair, banging his head right down on the canvas. Teddy Thomas can't break him up. Big John try to pull his teeth out. Nander got him. What a shot by Nander. He throws over a tag with Wallen. What a tremendous opening. There's Big Chet coming after Chris Tolis. Chris is asking referee Teddy Thomas for some help. Big Chet Wallach has him in the whip. He's putting the pressure on. Oh, he used an illegal tactic to break it. Got him in a chokehold. Bring him up, Teddy. Come on. The tag is made, though. Here comes John Tullis after Chet Wallach. Oh! Chris battering Wallach in the back. The two of them working Chet Wallach over. This is the noisiest crowd we've had all year. A double shot and a flying mare. And a boot. And another one. And a third one. John Tolis yelling, I got him pinned. And Teddy Thomas yelling, break it up. Here's Chet slugging back. They're ripping at one another. Chris kicked him almost right into my lap. Look at the action just above us. Chris has gone crazy. Teddy 
Look at what's going on in this corner, Teddy. Teddy has really got his hands full today. Here's Chet Wallach working on Chris Colas. Chet has him down. Well, every time they get him in bad position, one of the other brothers comes in. Here's Nander coming in. He's got Chris, pulls him down. Teddy Thomas goes after Nandor. Meantime, back here, the Tolis brothers are gouging and smashing away for Chet Wallach. Chet spins away, gets over, and a tag is made with Nandor. Here's Bob Nandor coming after Chris Tolis. I wish you could see the looks on the faces of these fans. There's one gal across the way. She's finally got a smile on her face now that she sees Chris Tolis in pain. Look at Nandor with a drop kick. Look out, Bob. John wants to give Chris some advice. Chris in a chokehold on Nandor, running him into the buckle. Look at Nandor do a flip. Wallach has... Chris Tolis, but John is working Nander over, so Wallach gives it to Chris Tolis. Look at the shot on the way. Oh, what a shot Chris took. He gets out of there in a hurry. Here's John taking one from Nandor. They slug it out. Slugging it out, down goes John. But Chris comes in and gets Nandor in the back. Nandor getting Chet Wallach to come in after John Tolis. John's got Wallach in bad shape. Chet just above us, taking a shellacking, another smash, a battering. Wallach's in bad shape. Chet. Oh, now I see what he used that bandage for. Look at Wallach grabbing Teddy Thomas. He's got Teddy down. Wallach trying to get away. That bandage rubbed against his eyes. He's in bad shape. Look out, here's the alley up. By Chris, he's got Wallach down. Teddy goes for it. One, two, three, it's all over. And the first ball goes to Chris Tolis of the Tolis Brothers. Now here's Manny White with the announcement. The time of the first fall, six minutes and four seconds, the Tolis Brothers. Well, this crowd is beside itself. The first fall went to the Tolis Brothers, but we've got a lot more kind of coming up for you. Let's listen to this first. tell you something. This crowd is beside itself. They're yelling at the Tolis Brothers. This gal just next to me is yelling yellow belly right at one of the Tolis Brothers. Let's go back up into the ring. We've got a lot more wrestling to look at. Okay. Who's it going to be? It's got to be Chet Wallach against Chris Tolis because Chris pinned Wallach. So that's how they get going. We're ready. Here we go. Wallach and Nandor gave Chris a going over. Oh, man, what an afternoon of wrestling this has been. Here's Chet waiting for Chris. Which one is it? It's John Tullis. Wallach! Gets the full Nelson on him. Trying to get him over to Nandor. Nandor wants a shot at him. Chris is trying to get in. Here we go. Nandor winding up. Let's go. A shot. Oh, he got him right in the eye. Wallach smashes him. Down he goes. Wallach on top of him. They got one, two. But Chris got in and kicked Wallach in the head. Wallach now falls back again on 
John and Chris comes in and kicks him. Nandor just tried to help him a little bit. Here's John running Wallach into the buckle. Oh, smashing him again. Oh, running him into the belt buckle across the way. Wallach in pain, but he got a kick off. The crowd loved it. Another one. He's smashing away at him. Another smash. Oh, man. Boy, the action here is just tremendous. Chet Wallach and John Tullis going at one another. The Tullis brothers. They're the kind of fellas that'll have you standing up and yelling. What action. Teddy Thomas working on Chris Tolis. Nandor is almost gone. He's being choked into submission. Nandor reaching for the rope. Now John has him. He's whacking him away just above me. Look at the job that John and Chris are doing on Nandor. Yes, sir. The action supreme. And this is but a sample. Look out! Oh, he threw him right into my lap. Get him up. Look out. Easy. 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 Get him off. Look out. The Tolis brothers. Oh, I got a shot in the mouth. Nandor. Oh, I think they broke the table. The table is all gone. My microphone is broken. The standby mic. We need help. Oh, man. Look at the action. Fantastic action. Nander has John. They ran him together. Look at the Thomas brothers. They're out of the ring. The crowd whacking at them across the way. Holy cow. Oh, my mouth. I got an elbow in the mouth. There's Wallach going after him. We're making an exchange of tables here. Oh man, let's settle down. Sooner or later, I'd get a shot. Wallach hits the dust. Chris working on him. Got him in bad shape. Referee Teddy Thomas moves him away, and John comes over after him. Chris has got him, but he's under the ring rope. Teddy's out on the apron. Oh, this is too much. Look at Teddy. He's got a chokehold on Chris and he can't break him away. Finally broke him away. Chris and Chet Wallach battling away. And Chris goes out of the ropes. He's got Wallach out. He pulls him out. Look at him. Smashing away outside the ring. These two behemoths. Finally, Wallach. Goes down. The two Tolis brothers roughing him up. Chris gets him on the ropes. Look at this action. The Tolis brothers. He ran into a kick. He's in bad shape. He's down. John jumps him. John pummels him. The tag made for Chris. Chris comes in. The eye gouge. Again and again. Oh, look at poor Wallach. The tag made. Here's John coming in again. Wallach kicks him. 
jumps on him. Here's Chris going up for the alley up. It's all over, I believe. John falls on him. John has him. Teddy Thomas comes in. The count. One, two, three. It's all over. The tallest brothers have won it. But the action isn't over. Nander going after John. But the fall has been completed. Nander goes in to help Chet Wallach out. The Tullis brothers have won it. Here's Manny White. Of the second and deciding fall, six minutes and ten seconds, the winners, the Tullis brothers. Let's pause for this message. Well, we've got more action for you. Let's go right up to ringside and Manny Whites. The next event, two out of three falls from Abruzzi, Italy, and Buffalo, New York, weighing 250, Ilio Di Paolo. His opponent from Red Deer, Canada, weighing 262, Cyclone Smith. Did you hear what one of the fans just yelled? Cyclone might be a big win, but that's all. You know, I have a tough time, Manny. That is Cyclone Smith. It's not Hurricane. It's Cyclone, right? It's Cyclone. I don't know how you tell the difference. That's Cyclone, isn't it? That's Cyclone going against Ilio de Paolo. And here we go. Ilio goes right after him. I think Ilio wants to impress the Tolis brothers. Oh, Cyclone grabbed the hair. Ilio right after him. Fine there. Ilio de Paolo. Bull Nelson. Cyclone has run into a harder. Look at Ilio. Work on him. Bull Nelson roughing him up. This is Ilio de Paolo. The Tolis brothers are in the background looking on. Here's the count of two. But Cyclone came out of it. Ilio. Well, tell me, what do you like better, Ilio de Paolo or the braggarts, the Tolis brothers? Look at Ilio, whipping this 250-pounder around. I think Ilio is venting his wrath on Cyclone Smith for the action of the Tolis brothers. There's a shot. Look at Ilio. The Tolis brothers just said that they were the best-built wrestlers in the business. Well, that may be their opinion, but you have a good look at Elio De Paolo. Look at him. Look out, Teddy. There's Elio grabbing Cyclone. Oh, alley oop. He's got him. Here he goes for him again. Ready, alley oop. Here we go. The hip lock. Down he goes. Takes him down. The count one, two. He flipped him. Cyclone goes down from a drop kick. Tremendous action. Cyclone tossed him. Look out. Holy cow. I thought he busted his arm. Helio shaking up. Hurt his arm. Boy, the crowd is a little quiet now. Cyclone really hurt Ilio. He's got him, setting him up. Smashes, roughing him around. But Ilio takes him down, has him ready for the pin. The count one. Again, he smashes him. Then he dropped. One, two. He dropped him off. Ilio. Elio! Here's the Paolo with a spin. Down he goes. He falls on it. One, two, three. It's all over. Elio to Paolo wins it. Well, the crowd loved that. And now here's Manny White. The time, time of the first fall, two minutes, 44 seconds. The winner, Elio Di Paolo.
Elio De Paolo won the fall, and now I've just discovered that it's the best two out of three. You saw me waving to Manny White. We'll be back with a second fall in this best two of three right after this message for you. Now we've got time for our second fall. Let's go right back. Elio took him down and Toho. Step over Toho, used by Elio De Paolo. Oh, what a punishing hold. Cyclone Elio. Ah, 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 ah. Gets to the ropes, though. Crawl down. Elio will have to let him up. Cyclone's in pain. <laughs> Again, the step over Toho. Elio working on that left leg. Pressure. Listen to this crowd. Elio pulling him up, kicking him down. Working on that left leg. He's trying to yank it off. You hear somebody behind me yelling, break it off. The hairlock broke that hole. Cyclone trying to get away. And he got to the ropes. Helio's a little too close for comfort for him. Cyclone gets a double arm lock, a double wrist lock on Helio, who reversed to him down. Helio really working on that left ankle and toe. Oh. Ilio saying to Teddy Thomas, ask him, does he want to quit? Oh, man, is he applying pressure. The hair, the hair broke away. Ilio will not be foiled. Got that left leg again. Oh, the Paolo has given Cyclone Smith a tremendous going over. And I think a lot of this is to impress the Tolis brothers who threw the gauntlet at DePaulo. Poor Cyclone, just to back and walk. Ilio rushes him to the corner. Cyclone is beat red. You can say he's been beaten red or beat red B E T. A little bit of the eye gouge. Takes him down and inside grapevine. One. Cyclone got out of it. Step over Toho, that left leg. Oh, spinning it around. Tremendous pressure. Teddy saying, save. I think he bit Elio. Look at Elio come back for him. Got that leg. Elio has to break. Elio to Paolo. Three minutes. Three minutes. Smashing away is Cyclone Smith. And Elio. Elio takes it down. Got him ready for the take, a judo chop. Another one, in the body, in the body. Got him set. Ilio putting pressure on. No choke hold, Ilio. Teddy Thomas makes him break. Here's Ilio, running him into the belt buckle. Ooh. Taking him again. Oh, I thought he was going right out of the ring. Holy cow. He's got him, the spin, around, and around, and around. Listen to this crowd, Helio. They're yelling, Helio. He's got him. One, two, three, it's all over. Here's Matt.
Manny White climbing into the ring to make the announcement. Manny White. The time of the second and deciding fall, four minutes, 18 seconds. The winner, Ilio Di Paolo. Red Lions is coming up in a minute. First, this message for you. Well, you saw the reaction of Elio De Paolo. He just about massacred poor Cyclone Smith because he was so mad at the Tolis brothers. Now, here's his partner, Billy Red Lions, against the other Smith. This one is Hurricane. Let's go to Manny White's in the ring. The next event, one fall from Toronto, Ontario, weighing 238, Billy Red Lion. His opponent from Red Deer, Canada, the twin of Cyclone Smith. This is Hurricane at 260. Hurricane. Well, the boys are at the center of the ring now getting their last minute instructions from referee Teddy Thomas. What is it that Hurricane wants? Apparently he wants Teddy to know when it's time to call Red Lions off. I know that all you folks who've seen these boys in action will sure be looking forward to this match. Hard to tell who's got the wrist lock, but Billy Red took him down. A wing takedown. Billy Red, that double wrist lock. Hurricane trying to work him around. Billy Red gets behind him, applying pressure, and takes him down. Hurricane gets to the ropes, and Teddy Thomas will break him up. This is only a sample of what you see in person. There's Billy Red. Taking him down. Sort of a version of the flying mare. Gets him in a side chancery and then just pulls him down. Look out, Billy Red. Oh, man. He took him with a tackle. Billy Red wanted to hit him a shot. But he's too much of a gentleman. For the last time they got above us, the Tolis brothers threw Chet Wallach in my lap and I caught an elbow in the mouth. There's a full Nelson by Billy Red Lions. Billy Red setting him up. Alley -oop. Boy, he's got him in that body scissors. Red setting him up again. He's got him by the ears. Ready up, Alley. Oh, oh my aching back. Can you imagine what the feeling must be on your sacroiliac and on the seat of your pants and a crowd yelling, give it to him one more time, Billy. Hurricane trying to break out of it. Billy grabs him by the whiskers. Has him set up. Here we go again. Ready? Count of one, two, up. Oh, I wish you could see the look on Hurricane's face. 
the one thing, no matter how well you see it on TV, there's nothing like seeing it in person. Crowd, enjoying every moment of this. Billy Red breaks away. Look at Hurricane Smith. Billy Red and Hurricane. And the locks. Billy Red being victimized now by that side chancery. Oh, he came around. Double wrist lock. Leg takedown. Working on the arm. Billy Red working on that left arm, but Smith got to the ropes. Hurricane Smith and Billy Red Lion. Red with a leg takedown. Oh, what a shot. Come on, Smith. What do you say? Come on, Smith. Oh, you pulled the leg out from the socket. Here we go again. Can you hear Hurricane yelling, no, 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 no. Now Billy Red is putting a toehold on Hurricane, the same as Idio DiPaolo put on his brother Cyclone. Oh, the pain is tremendous. He's trying to get him to quit. Trying to get him to quit. Hurricane crawling, 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 gets under the ropes. Billy Red had a break. Here we go. Oh, look out. Got him hung up, pulling him through. Oh, that hurt. The count, one, two, three, it's all over. The winner is Billy Red Lions, and here's Manny White. The time, six minutes, 30 seconds, the winner, Billy Red Lions. Well, that was a tremendous match. And we'll have lots more for you right after this. action now with Bobby Bell from Canada taking on the Sheik and uh, the Sheik comes from Lebanon and uh, he's hiding perhaps a few Lebanese weapons underneath at least Pete Sacco can't seem to get to him to find out and I don't know how the Sheik can see because that turban or whatever you call it is down it appears to be right over his eyes and I'm not I don't know whether that'll come off or not as they get underway here we'll wait and see but this is the Sheik against Bobby Bell from Canada the Sheik has a little a ceremonial rug in the corner there, which you can see. He also has turned up toes on his shoes. There he goes. I don't know how he's not really facing to the east. He's kind of southeast on this one. He would almost have to have that corner, though, to do it. If he's facing Mecca, he was a little off balance that time. Or off direction, anyway. Everything goes on the rug, as all you mothers know. There comes the turban off, and now we've gotten our first look at the Sheik. The Sheik was supposed to have a uh, very charming young lady along with him who served those... Uh... Hey, this is a mad Sheik. He's wild, this kid. 
He's way out. There's Bobby Bell hitting the deck. No, he hung on. Now he goes down, but it was an easy fall for him. The Sheik helps to bring him in and a ram into the corner post. Not the turnbuckle, but the ring post, which is solid steel. There's another one for John for Bobby Bell. I don't know if you can see the toes on the shoes that the Sheik has, but they're really turned up. Bobby Bell has made no offensive move so far other than to climb into the ring. But he's not too good a performer to take these indignities for very long, I believe. There's the Sheik working on his eyes now. Sheik off balance. There's another one right to the Sheik's, the Sheik's chop. Bell trying for a quick pin here. It's a headlock and uh, working on the chin also. That's an old Lebanese custom he's employing there. Here's a version of the Boston Crab. They call it the Lebanese lit up and apparently he's lit Bobby Bell with it. That's his finishing hold and uh, he's won with it. of pressure on the spine and Bobby Bell was forced to give up on that in a very quick ending as the Sheik takes care of Bobby Bell in pretty quick order. Now Manny Weiss will give us the time on this one.